Fitzfinley flaunting a two-stone weight advantage over Danny Boy Collins. And Collins carrying the scar of a recent operation to remove a kidney. Round two. Seven rounds to go. Two falls to the side. Paula checking on that drop kick. Result. Referee, Mal Mason, the former professional footballer with Everton. Finley has decided to come out and really go on the straight stuff. In round two, took a bit of a battering in the first round, didn't like it. And it's going straight for the scar. That's where the scar is, he's showing everybody. But he won't do him any harm with that now. Finley with the pressure points to the side of Danny's neck. Legal as long as the comms don't get anybody near the windpipe. And then no one near the Oh, straight fingers. This time a beautiful counter. A lovely quick whip. Straight fingers again. A little bit suspicious there, Mason, the ref. And the yellow card is coming out. Now, just a reminder, didn't show the card officially. That's a, that's a typical move by Finley now. He's got the way to hold him. A lovely switch by Gavin, a tremendous switch. But Finley sidestepped him as Danny came right at him. Again, the pressure points and taking the man down face first to the cross. A drop, oh, a drop kick with a knee, very unusual, and we'll see how effective it was. I was waiting for the feet to come out, but they didn't. The knee came up and then followed through cross press and trouble for Danny here. And the first ball to the bigger man from Ireland, Fenley, in just two minutes, 35 seconds of round two. Baller back with a smile on her face now. Lee Bamber to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, in round two is the first ball of the match in favour, Pete Fenley. Let's see that again in slow motion, see how it, it happened. Danny just gets up from the canvas, Finley goes over one of his reverse throws, and the full weight of Finley right on those shoulder blades. Danny can't move. Seconds away, round four. Here we go, officially for round four. Finley having attacked far too early. coming up to the face again. And then the right knee to the chin. First time that Danny was waiting for him. Tragically beautifully. And a base of the spine drop under his own left knee. And an oh And another base of the spine drop under his right knee. Oh, Dave Finley not happy at all. Shots are easy, but he's got a lot of weight to give away here. Oh, caught it. Lag of the hand, says Finley. Oops, and a flyer, Finley. All the way back, and taking him beautifully over the top. Hook the leg. Beauty, beauty by Collins. 
in one minute 20 seconds of round four the equalizing fall Danny Boy Collins and, and here it is now the watch this again the posting Collins goes in high up as if he's going to do a monkey climb but he goes back instead which fools Finley to come forward the reverse throw and that's it the folding cross press beautiful beautiful move by Collins and he's back in the game now one fall each with four runs to go second away round five halfway through the box So halfway through the spot, one fall each. And the crowd very happy that Danny Boy has come back with the approach and what a beauty it was. His first thing around is if he was a baby and a yellow card to Collins now. So a public warning to Collins. And a drop kick from the corner. That's not the way that he does it. Beautiful timing again. Another posting. Finley takes it. Four on smash over the top. Ed Mayer. And the landing with a good two. Oh. Finley goes over the top. Don't know whether he hit. Got the metal with that dead. And a beauty. And splat. Oh, headbutt over the top, and I think it hurt Finley as much as it did Danny Collins. Five, six, which one's going to get up? Seven, eight, nine. Collins isn't, that's for sure. Finley, no, neither of them up. Neither of them up. Finley didn't make it. Still on his knees. Looks like a double knockout decision here. In just two minutes, ten seconds of round five. What a finish. And his opponent now, with the double-handed wrist lever on him and the full wrestling leotard or double leotard anyway and the sharp white boots that is Peter Bainbridge of Cheltenham now he is just 15 years old this lad on the right there in the white he won't be 16 until December of this year still at school has already had quite a few professional bouts and he's showing, showing up extremely well, I'm informed. But I've never seen him until this afternoon myself. Up against another teenager, giving away about no, 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 no. ten arms to Gary Chloe for statin. <laughs> you see Billy Finley, the Belfast referee, but getting in there very, very quickly in case because to throw a man over the top rope intentionally, quite illegal. It looks very much as though he might be thinking about it. in their weights in fact uh -huh. just eight pounds attempted figure four leg lock by Bainbridge Gary 
Floyd in charge for once. <clears throat> On the attack now, but uh, he releases when told to. Four, five. Floyd, who? A real wrestling technician. And if Cowboy Bob catches the champ, he could beat him. No doubt about it. Follow up cross press. Again, easily, quite, quite easily thrown off. Four, five. Go! Go! One, two, three, four, five. End step Six, to the start, perfectly seven, legal. Eight. Uh, now he's got to fold her on if, if you can hold him. And he's holding. First one to clear. Let's see how he did that. It ended in a very neat. Turned his man right over for a folding press and almost didn't hold it, but he tried the double knee, missed with one knee, but had the second chance. First one to Chloe. Ladies and gentlemen, round three, and that's the first fall of the contest that goes to Gary Chloe. And it just took him two minutes, 35 seconds into round three. First one to Chloe. Second round four. So the second half of the bout now with Clue and the blue cross there. Coming up in the attack to try and make it a 2-0 win. Five. Bainbridge has got to go for that equalizer pretty fast. One, two, three, four. Both very five. nervous, of course. Their Six. first appearance on television and yeah. neither very experienced in the wrestling ring anyway. The one thing that Bainbridge would not like is to be beaten 2-0 on his first, on his debut. Nicely, very nicely. Follow it up quick with a cross price and you might have a chance here. No. Everybody for the man is losing now. Or trailing. Again the follow up cross price. But he doesn't hold. He hasn't learned to grab that. Opposite leg when he gets his man in the folder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once he released, he couldn't just eight, turn around and start four, again. Five, six. Well, the lips okay. Now puts the victory roll. Bainbridge, his favorite move there is the victory roll. He, can he hold it? He's got the legs, he's got both arms beautifully, and there it is, the equalizer, and a lean back. In just two minutes of round four, equalizer to Peter Bainbridge. Let's have a look at that again. It's like quite an interesting move. The victory roll from the shoulders takes his man over. He's got the arms already. Now he grabs the legs. Folding press completed from the back. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an equalizing fall in round four in favor of Peter Bainbridge. Two official results announced there by John Harris. One fall each and two rounds to go. Now it, it could be really interesting, this battle of the newcomers. Second away, round five. Round five. And Bainbridge coming out now, very keyed up and confident now that he's got that equalizer. Five, six, seven, go! One, two, three, four, five, wrestle. Fluid on the attack with a side edge. Back of the two, leg down on the throat. Eight, Perfectly good four, guillotine. Five, six, wrestle. All the pulls from the crowd. Perfectly legal. Nice body check there, but Fluid didn't really get the advantage he hoped from it. 
Oh, the back hammer, old from the top, Bainbridge. Oh, he tried the same again, but didn't work this time. And then the Chloe came back on an attempt, finishing up with a very nice rest of bridge, but he didn't get him anywhere. Nice lot of applause for these two youngsters on their first appearance in front of the cameras. They'll be pleased with that. Flying tackle, Bainbridge, over the top, cross press. Couldn't hold him, knew it, so got up. Oh, loose looking. Didn't make up his mind at the last second there and uh, then changed it, I think. That flying tackle came very loosely indeed. Chloe now with a side head chance of his own style there. Both arms really curiously placed. Holding it though. That's more normal position. And there's the side head. Oh, Both men got in the head. And that could be a... An unfortunate finish to their first bout on television too. They have to get up pretty quickly if they're not good. No. Oh, that's the double knockout. In just over two minutes of round five, a double knockout. An unfortunate finish to their first televised appearance. Let's have another look at that and see how it happened. He tried to follow up with a flying headbutt. The other man came back just a little bit later than he thought. Heads clashed and both men down for the count of ten. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you will have seen with that clash of heads and both the wrestlers failing to beat the referee's count of ten, the verdict, of course, is a double knockout. And John Harris, I think, will... See if he announces this is a draw or no contest. And let's see what the situation is at the moment with both of them. <laughs> and finally taking one, seconds taking the other. <laughs> Here comes his decision after he's spoken to the referee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just to make it absolutely clear, a double knockout, of course, does stand in the record books as a draw against each man's name. Thank you, John Harris. So, a draw on their first appearance. But I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of these two youngsters as they're showing West Clive and Fist Miles, one of the greatest in the ring today, from Kingston, Jamaica, the Commonwealth middleweight champion, Kung Fu, Black Sash, Sam Tu Dang, and Karate, and, of course, arm wrestling. One of the arm wrestling king is in fact the former world champion at under 15 star. He takes on Mal Sanders. Mal Sanders, the superstar from Morden in Surrey, who started at the age of 19. A little bit big headed, this fellow's becoming, but uh, he's still a tremendous wrestler. Six three minute rounds, two falls to decide this box, and uh, master of ceremonies, Gordon Pryor, to introduce him. Thank you. The second contest of the tournament, contest matched at international catchweight, to be contested over six rounds of three minutes each round, and your winner to be decided by two falls, two submissions, one knockout, or one disqualification. Introducing and presenting on my right and in the red corner, the sensational Colored star, karate, and arm wrestling expert, the Iron Fist, Clive Myers. His opponent, on my left in the blue corner, the mouth of the South, the self-acclaimed superstar, Mal Sanders. Your referee for this contest, Mr. Peter Zakash. Yes, former Hungarian welterweight champion, Peter Zakash, the referee, there he is. Now, of course, naturalized British, takes charge of this catchweight contest. 
Six three-minute rounds, two falls to the side. Myers in his usual red gear versus Mal Sanders of Surrey. And here we go for round one of six, and this could be quite interesting. Myers, one of the most popular wrestlers in the game today. Already Sanders beefing about something as he this is his want. Now Sanders he spends more time arguing with the crowd than anything else, I think. His opponent waiting patiently in the center of the ring until he turns around and starts to wrestle. Good wrestler, if only you get on with it. He's got something to contend with. Today. <laughs> got something to contend with here, right? Ian Fist Myers, incidentally, has just come back from uh, Switzerland, Geneva, where he uh, has been introducing arm wrestling to the Swiss, and he's been pretty successful there too. Soon there will be tournaments, world tournaments of all categories taking place and it will be great men and women from the age of 12 upwards to, to uh, arm wrestle right from the beginning of their school lives almost. A great sport it is. And Clive Armfist Myers having been the champion of the world under 15 stone at arm wrestling naturally is the one to introduce it and promote it. But he's trying his best right now. Four Nelson Myers. Four Nelson. Sanders this time. We won't do much good in that position. Cross press, Miles. I think that the referee, Peter Zakos, will certainly have to watch Sanders here. A lot of inside moves from this fellow. 25 seconds to go, round one. Just about too late for this round, especially with Sanders doing that. <laughs> so, Everybody thinks it's very funny except one, and that's him in the corner on his knees there. But he shouldn't have stepped out of the ring. Didn't need to. What he was doing was keeping away from his opponent. He's getting told about it now. So round two, let's see if Sanders decides to do a bit of rustling in this round. Good bear hug with the Myers left arm caught in the back end. And that's the top. The weight of the rope pushing it up further now. Now it's free. There's <laughs> a devil's chop to the sides. And the side hand chop to the So if you want to play it that way, here it is, boy. get in if he's taunted and he was taunted now. 
Nice posting by Sanders. Good move there, Sanders. He doesn't have to resort to this stuff. Oh, yes. Fort, Fort Myers well with the inside of the forearm as he came past. I don't know who gave the uh, name from Al Sanders, superstar, but I got a hunch it was one himself. But he used to be really great, a young potential. Nicely taken, he's gone over the top, and then reversed double leg Nelson, and Sanders is one down already. It's no good going on fighting. It's the end of that particular round because Miles got the fall. Just one minute, 58 seconds it took him. Round two on the first for the contest in favor of the red corner, Iron Fist, Clive Myers. And here it is, how he did. Sanders produced the posting that boy attempted to, followed him through, and watched those feet go under the arms, reverse double leg Nelson, no chance of getting those shoulder blades off. Cool it a bit. Let's shake hands on it, says Sanders. <laughs> I don't think Myers intends to shake his hand. And a punch to the face. Punch to the forehead. Referee didn't spot it, of course. Blind side, but Myers knows it. And the fingers in the mouth. Takes his man right along the ropes, dragging the cheek along the rope for a rope burn on the face. Quite illegal, and a punch again. Again, the referee wasn't sure, but Myers knows about it. Body check that didn't quite work. This time he took him with him, beautifully over the top. Perfect timing by Myers. The back of the neck with the instep of the right foot. Wallen! Who's the man against me? Washington. Myers even going at me now because he probably saw me laughing when he was uh, taken at the beginning here by uh, his opponent. One minute to go. Round three. Uh, Mel Sanders has often wanted to have a go at me, but he's never come out of the ring to do it before. Certainly had my off my chair, the micro microphone went flying, the earphones went flying, the glasses went flying. But let's hope that Myers comes back at him for me this way. <laughs> right on the bell of round three. After the bell. So there he is, Mel Sanders. It used to be such a terrific question. Well, there's no good arguing with him from here. Nothing much I can do about it. <laughs> I'll let, My let Myers talk for me, I think, in round four, which is coming up. Uh, five miles will handle this fellow all right eventually. Nice posting by Sanders, though. Miles laying it on a bit to try and get Sanders to come forward, I'll bet. In the he came past, 
first. Back of the neck again. This will be instep hit in the last round. Back elbow. And all oh, the... Oh. Quite illegal, of course. I'm getting reminded of that fact by the referee now. It's amazing how he hasn't got a public warning yet, but liable to have one soon. A couple of minutes to go in this fourth round. Still, Myers leading Sanders, one of them. And... So Sanders has got his second public win. So he hasn't got any more to play with now. The next time he tries anything, the referee spots. He's liable to wind up back in the dressing room. Single leg Boston to Sanders. Nice one in him. He's a submission by Myers there. In just one minute, 35 seconds of round four. Public warning he gets Sanders, but he also gets the equalizing submission in that fourth round. In the fourth round, single leg submission, the second and the equalizing submission to the blue corner, the mouth of the south, superstar Sanders. Well, we'll have a look and see how he did that. At this Miles stage on the, in the deck, contest, remember. your referee reminds Sanders he's already collected two public warnings. There Sanders he goes, single leg Boston, puts all his weight backwards, and there it is, the submission and referee pointing to the timekeeper. Two rounds to go. there for that long. No, just took it. <laughs> Big smile on his face. He thought that Myers was static there, but no chance. He grin all over Myers' face. Oh yes, inside of the inside hand shot. Then the posting. And Myers goes for a monkey try. All the way over. There he is. So one fall each the score. One submission fall to Sanders equalizing Myers' fall in the second round. Second leg Boston is going for again. Gets a second chance. But it's fully on the ropes. So it doesn't count. And the bell goes. Out. No, he's, that's enough, says Peter Zaklash. I think he's disqualified him anyway. Let's see what happens when he explains it to the referee. Because that couldn't have counted. He was on the ropes. Your referee's decision, Superstar Sanders has been disqualified. Leaving the winner, Iron Fist. Well, Myers a bit in trouble because he had that leg right on the ropes there, that single leg Boston, and it couldn't have done him much good. And here's Let's see if we can see it again and see how it happened. The monkey climb, but just as he was going over the monkey climb, Sanders caught him and then got the leg, second chance, single leg Boston, and grabbed the rope to hold it on. So the referee stopped it and said, that's enough, but Meyer's leg was hurt as he left there. And there's Sanders, the loser, on a disqualification in round five. I never touched those ropes. Listen, I never touch those ropes. I never touch those ropes. As a sportsman, I, I tell you, I never touch those ropes. That was a legitimate submission, and I should be the winner. Sanders, remember the referee's decision is final. The decision stands, you are disqualified. The winner is Clyde Myers. In the ring waiting for Jimmy Brakes. That's Jimmy Brakes from Bradford. Just 11 and a half stone now. He's gone up a bit in weight since his lightweight days. And here he comes into the ring. 
to meet his opponent, young Peter Bainbridge, waiting for him in the opposite corner from Cheltenham. Lee Bamber is the MC. Let's see if he can get time to, in the, like the music and everything, to introduce these two contestants. Thank you, Gents. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and good afternoon to you at home. Welcome again to another afternoon of All-Star Wrestling. Our first contest this lunchtime is a special lightweight challenge match to be wrestled over six five-minute rounds, and yes, two falls, two submissions, or the one knockout will decide the winner. Introducing to you, firstly, from the red corner on my left, a young man who, at only 16 years of age, is already tipped for top honours. I ask you to welcome Peter Bainbridge. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the blue corner, you can see the European lightweight championship belts. And of course, that belongs to Jimmy Briggs. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee for this contest from Bristol, Mr. Roger Brown. Roger Brown. And thank you, MC Lee Bamber. Jim Brakes from Bradford, of course. There he is, already arguing with the ref. As is his wont. Peter Bainbridge from Cheltenham, the young lad who started in the wrestling business at 16 years old. Seconds away, first round. Here we go for round one of a six five minute round contest. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the vote. And already Junior Brakes going in for the attacking side headlock. Peter Bainbridge was born in December 1971, and his first bout was at 1987 at 16. So he's just still only 17 years old now. And that's a special, a great special being operated on him by this youngster. <laughs> first time they've ever met. Briggs isn't gonna like that. Briggs, of course, European lightweight champion. But he's been in the world of weight bracket for quite some time now. He's up to 11 stone 7. If he had to defend his lightweight belt, he'd have to train down by 7 pounds. He could probably do it too. The 17 year old youngster has the nerve to come in round one and deliver a Br Jimmy Brake special on him. This packed crowd here at the Bedworth Civic Hall. I love this one. And, and this one's only the start because the one they're really waiting for is Clive Iron Chris Myers versus Steve Gray, which comes after this. But they're going to enjoy this preliminary contest here this afternoon, no question. Do you Always beefing. He's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee gives a first public warning to Jimmy Brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Went slightly the wrong way. Jimmy Brakes asking for a public warning for Bainbridge. I don't know what for, but he was trying it. Come on! seen breaks on the television screen for some time but hasn't changed much it's still the same style <laughs> he rolled out of that one really neatly and breaks rolls out of it neatly too but the first time only <laughs> 
Jimmy Brace is always worried about his nose. I don't know why, it hasn't got a bone in it for years. See, not really a stranglehold, not a headlock. Shoot your swamping out! Jimmy Brakes was a part-time wrestler these days. He's pretty, pretty busy running his own public house, the seconds out in Batley. So we don't see him so much on the screen these days. Oh, yes. Side headlock. Breaks in charge, and he's got about 25 seconds left in this first round to make something of this. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. He's left it too late, whatever he's going to do. So, this young lad, Peter Bainbridge from Cheltenham, 17 years old, 11 stone 11 in weight, turned pro October 1986. Second away, round three. Round three, four to go, still no score. One public warning against Brakes. Brakes, the one in the horizontal stripe, trunks. Roger Brown from Bristol, the referee. Then the shoulder wrench. Bainbridge learnt one heck of a lot about this business since we first saw it on television a year ago. Nicely up, Bainbridge over the top, Ooh, loosely, but he got it. Full Nelson breaks. Full Nelson almost for Bainbridge, putting up holding press, and Bainbridge a chance here, and a plus ball to Bainbridge. In just one minute, 22 seconds of round three. Well, that was pretty quick. Quite neat, too. And this is how it happened. Brace goes for the full Nelson. Bainbridge looks as though he's retaliating on that, but instead pushes him to the ropes. Brace falls back. Bainbridge steps aside, waits for him to fold, and he holds the press. Round four, three to go. Seconds away, round four. <laughs> that was Lee Bamba, the MC, that did that. <laughs> and it's the same move again. That's how the Bainbridge got the first fall. That's a submission, immediate submission by Bainbridge, as Brakes does his special lift. Just 42 seconds, and Brakes gets the equalizing submission in round four. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
We haven't seen it on television for some while, but there it is, the Jimmy Brake special. It's the equaliser to Jimmy Brakes. Well, what a special move that is, especially the lift from it. But everybody happy about it except Bainbridge in his left arm. Seconds away, round five. Two rounds to go as we start round five. The score, one each. One fall to Bainbridge in the third, equalized by Brakes submission in the fourth. One public warning against Brakes, two rounds to go. Bainbridge trying to keep the left arm out of the way. Doesn't want another of those Brakes specials. Brakes thinking of nothing else as he goes for it. so far, but Brakes will get in by some trick in a minute. There it is. And here's the special, and the lift from it. Yes, in the submission, there's the winning submission to Brakes in just exactly one minute of round five. Brakes the winner, two submissions to Bainbridge's one fall. So, ladies and gentlemen, in exactly one minute of the round, two to one, the winner, of course, of the match is Jimmy Brakes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about one for a very sporting loser? We're going to see a lot. Listen, never mind, sport. You're a young lad. You've got to learn every trick of the trade. <laughs> 